Let us all stand for the Angelus. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The angel of the Lord declared unto Mary, And she conceived by the Holy Spirit. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Behold the handmaid of the Lord. Be it done unto me according to your word. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh, and dwelt among us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Pray for us, Holy Mother of God, that we may be made worthy of the promises of Christ. Let us pray. For for, for for to beseech you, Lord, Lord, your, your grace, grace into our, our hearts, that, that we, to the incarnation of Christ, your Son, was, was made known by the message of an angel, may by his passion and cross be brought to the glory of his resurrection, through the same Christ, our Lord. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Glory to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. Together, glory, glory to, the to the Father, Father and to the, the Son, and, and to the Holy Spirit, Spirit as, as it was, was in the beginning, beginning is now, and ever shall be world Amen. without end. Amen. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Please be seated.
Good morning. Let us include in our prayers the intentions of the Minador Guzman Sr., Nancy Tanon family, Felix Yambawan family, Ganapin family, Perwell, De La Peña, Santos Sildes, Alegre families, Corazon Alegre, Lourdes Clem, Cecil Keeping David, Noel Caparas, Jesse Rex Chua, wife and children, Joy Ann Rochelle, John Raven, Sean Corey, Jenny Marjo Jomar, Fortaleza family, Velasco family, De Los Reyes family, Elena Chua family, Patrogen and Albert, Dam, Holy Face of Jesus Organization, Family Rosary Crusade Organization, Apostleship of Prayer Organization, Mayor Emmy Calixto Robiano, David Bielbi, Aldrin and Myra Serrado and family, Jacinto Sales, Lita Guevara, Josefina Neri, Joselita Chavez, Alison Fox, Tim Waldholm, Mary B. Garcia, Elvira Brion, Celia Sarmiento, Irineo and Caridad Sales, Carl Balagot, Betsy Tuason, Melvin Ramos, Jen Reyes, Smart CK Training, Tony and Joy and Boltura, Mami Paca, Daddy Bert, Raymond Salcedo. For the birthday thanksgiving of Merle Amador and Antonio Francis Lagarto. Eternal repose for the soul of the following, Angelico and Estelita, Alfonso and Blandina, Ludgardo and Erlinda, Gregorio, Raul Jr., Kevin Martin, Dr. Susan Jane Cello, Sinaida Gonzalez, Maria Luisa Tan, Julieta Palomo Panganiban, Virginia Baliares, Patrocino Baliares Sr., Honorato Agis, Joven Paul, Pelagio Mesa Pequena, Eduardo and Nena Holito, Florante Santos, Agustin Aguila, Lourdes Bautista, Napoleon and Macaria Sales, Meneleo and Yolanda Hernandez, Jesus and Filomena Villasenor, Irineo and Agueda Sales, Marcelino and Generosa Hernandez, Tomas and Librada Canseco, Eleanor Bansil, Eleanor Apalit, Luna and Gloria Camanza, Feliciano and Romana Pura, Fredeswinda Ocampo, Tita Kai, Mommy Smiling, Daddy Fred, and All Souls in Purgatory. Magandang umaga ulit, mga kasambuhay, mga kaparokya. Iaalay po natin mula sa main altar ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, Pasay City, ang Santa Misa. Para sa iba't ibang intentions ng mga parokyano, deboto at benefactors ng Our Lady of Sorrows. Ang Misa ay aalay ng mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya. Sa oras na ito, Ang Mass Presider ay si Reverend Father James Beher, SSP. Tayo po ay makisa at ibigay ang sandaling ito kay Jesus sa banal na Eucharistia. 
entrance antiphone, O come, let us worship God and bow low before the God who made us, for he is the Lord our God. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Good morning, my dear brothers and sisters. Good morning, Father James. Today we celebrate the memorial of Our Lady of Lourdes. And we also celebrate the World Day Prayer for the Sick. Today, February 11, is the first of 18 apparitions of the Blessed Virgin Mary to Bernadette Subaru. On March 25, on the day of the Annunciation, when Bernadette asked the Blessed Mother what her name was, she replied, I am the Immaculate Conception. Today, let us ask the Blessed Virgin Mary to intercede for the sick, especially for Ricarte Dodong Gregory. And we include all the intentions for all our relatives who are sick. Now, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries of Christ's love, let us acknowledge our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant us, O merciful God, protection in our weakness, that we who keep the memorial of the Immaculate Mother of God may, with the help of her intercession, rise up from our iniquities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Genesis. The Lord God said, It is not good for the man to be alone. I will make a suitable partner for him. So the Lord God formed out of the ground various wild animals and various birds of the air. And he brought them to the man to see what he would call them. Whatever the man called each of them would be its name. The man gave names to all the cattle, all the birds of the air, and all the wild animals, but none proved to be the suitable partner for the man. So the Lord God cast a deep sleep on the man, and while he was asleep, he took out one of his ribs and close up its place with flesh. The Lord God then built up into a woman the rib that he had taken from the man. When he brought her to the man, the man said, This one at last is bone of my bones and flesh of my flesh. This one shall be called woman, for out of her man this one has been taken. That is why a man leaves his father and mother and clings to his wife, 
and the two of them become one flesh. The man and his wife were both naked, yet they felt no shame. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Blessed are you who fear the Lord, who walk in his ways. For you shall eat the fruit of your handiwork. Blessed shall you be and favored. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Your wife shall be like a fruitful vine in the recesses of your womb. Your children like olive plants around your table. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Behold, thus is the man blessed who fears the Lord. The Lord bless you from Zion. May you see the prosperity of Jerusalem all the days of your life. Blessed are those who fear the Lord. Alleluia, alleluia. Humbly welcome the word that has been planted in you and is able to save your souls. Alleluia, alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus went to the district of Tyre. He entered a house and wanted no one to know about it. But he could not escape notice. Soon, a woman whose daughter had an unclean spirit heard about him. She came and fell at his feet. The woman was a Greek, a Syrophoenician by birth, and she begged him to drive the demon out of her daughter. He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dogs. She replied and said to him, Lord, even the dogs under the table eat the children's crops. Then he said to her, For saying this, you may go, and the demon has gone out of your daughter. When the woman went home, she found the child lying in bed, and the demons have gone. Brothers and sisters, this is the gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. The gospel from Mark, chapter 7, verses 20 to 30, tells us that Jesus went to the district of Tyre and entered a house and wanted no one to know about it. So, when we read this passage, we may think that there must be something wrong. Why is it in the first place that Jesus comes to a pagan territory? Of course, we know that he had been ministering to the Jewish provinces for the past several months and weeks. And probably we can conjecture that Jesus wanted a kind of retreat with his disciples. So he came to this place in Tyre so that nobody would really bother them because he knew that he would be in a pagan territory. So Jesus left the provinces in order to come and probably rest a while. Tyre is in the north of Galilee, up along 
damat Mediterranean Sea. Tyre in Sidon were notoriously ungodly cities. The people who lived there were Gentiles. Now, a woman took notice of him and makes her way boldly to Jesus. She is a Greek and a Syrophoenician by birth. She is therefore a Gentile. The Gentiles were considered unclean by the Jews, and they were likened to dogs, and Jews did not associate with them in any way. But neither the Greeks paid any regard to Jews. They also looked down on the Jews, Jewish people. Jews were inferior on their side. The Greeks took priesthoods in their quest for wisdom and knowledge. In fact, the vast majority of mathematicians like Pythagoras, uh, physicians like uh, Hippocrates, philosophers like uh, Plato and Aristotle are of Greek origin. But the Syrophoenician woman, however, believed and admit that Jesus' wisdom and power exceed the wisdom and knowledge of humans, even that of the Greeks, and believed that he alone could set her daughter free. Because of Tyre's proximity to Judea, she would have known the Jewish customs. She knows that she had none of the religious, moral, uh, social, and cult cultural credentials necessary to, approve, uh, to approach a Jewish rabbi. Because she is a Phoenician, she is a Gentile, she is a pagan, and she is a woman. And her daughter has an unclean spirit. She knows that according to the standard of the day, she is unclean and therefore disqualified to approach any devout Jew, let alone a rabbi. But she doesn't care. She enters the house without invitation, falls down and begins begging Jesus to exorcise the demon from her daughter. The verb used is beg and is in present progressive. Ibig sabihin, he keeps, or she keeps on begging Jesus to exorcise the demon from her daughter. Nothing and no one can stop her. In Matthew's Gospel, chapter 15, the parallel of this gospel we have just read today, there the disciples urged Jesus to send her away. But she keeps on pleading with Jesus. She won't take no for an answer. Now, the mother among you, among us here, could know really the reason for her boldness. She is a mother. As a mother, if your child is in jeopardy, you simply do what it takes to save her. You don't think twice. You do what it takes. So it's not all surprising that this disparate mother is willing to take her chances with Jesus. All mothers, maybe, would do the same. You would do the same. If your daughter is possessed by a demon, you would do anything in order that 
the demon could be exorcised from her. So what is Jesus' response to this woman as he is down on the floor begging? He said to her, Let the children be fed first, for it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the dog. Would you feel insulted by these words of Jesus if you were the, the woman? On the surface, this appears to be an insult. Many of us are dog lovers. But in New Testament times, most dogs were scavengers, wild, dirty, and caught in every way. Jewish society was none dog lover. And to call someone a dog was a terrible insult. In Jesus' day, the Jews often called the Gentiles dogs because they were unclean. Now we ask, is Jesus insulting the woman? Some scholars says no. They said that Jesus is telling the woman a parable. For what is a parable? It means a metaphor or likeness. And they said that this is just a parable that Jesus is trying to inculcate to the woman to test her faith. Jesus uses the Greek word kinaria. It is a diminutive form, a word that really means puppy. So he means that it is not right to take the food of the children and throw it to the puppy. You know that puppy and children place together and sometimes they share food together. Now, remember the woman is a mother. Jesus is saying to her, you know how families eat? First, the children eat at table, and afterwards, their pets eat too. It is not right to violate that order. The puppies must not eat food from the table before the children do, do. If we go to Matthew's account of this incident, he gives a slightly longer version of Jesus' answer in which Jesus explained his meaning. I was sent only to the lost sheep of Israel. Jesus concentrated his ministry on Israel for all sorts of reasons. He was sent to show Israel that he was the fulfillment of all scripture's promises, the fulfillment of all the prophets, the fulfillment of the priests and kings, fulfillment of the temple. But after he was resurrected, he immediately said to his disciples, go to all nations. His words then are not the insult they appear to be. What he is saying to the woman, please understand, there is an order here. I'm going first to the people of Israel, then you, and then to all the nations. However, this mother comes back at him with an outstanding reply. Yes, Lord, she said, but even the dogs under the table, it's the children's crumbs. Then he told her, for such a reply, you may go. The demon has left your daughter. She went home and found her child lying on bed and the demon gone. In other words, she says, yes, Lord, but the puppies eat from that table too, and I'm here for mine. Jesus told her a parable in which he has given her a combination of challenge and offer. And she gets it. She responds to the challenge, Okay, I understand. I'm not from Israel. I do not worship the God that the Israelites worship. 
Therefore, I don't have a place at the table. I accept that. She doesn't take offense. She doesn't stand on her rights. She says, all right, I may not have a place at table, but there is more than enough at table for everyone in the world. And I need mine now. That is exactly what the woman is saying to Jesus. There is plenty at table for everyone to have. It's just that the woman needed it just right now because of her daughter and because of her love for her daughter. She is actually saying, Lord, give me what I deserve. She is not saying this. Lord, I am, give me what I deserve on the base of my good deeds. She is only saying, give me what I don't deserve on the basis of your own goodness. And I need it now. Now, if we reflect on this passage in this conversation between Jesus and the woman, we can derive at least three virtues from the answer of the woman. The woman's answer is a statement of humility. She really humbled herself before the Lord. In fact, she knelt down before, before him, begging, begging him to exorcise her daughter. Why? Because she must have felt how, how hard it must have been for the daughter. And that's why she had to humiliate herself coming into the house without the invitation and kneeling before Jesus was an act of humility. And of course, with an act of humility, she expressed her faith in Jesus. She knew that Jesus' power and knowledge and wisdom is much, much more than the wisdom and the knowledge of Greeks, people, and even of any humans. And she knew that Jesus could exorcise the demon from her daughter. She believed. So another virtue is that of faith. And of course, persistence. Persistence. We have three other uh, accounts about persistence in the Bible. The persistent widow against the judge. The persistent friend who was knocking at midnight to his friend asking for bread because he had a visitor. And Jesus' admonition that in prayer we should be persistent. So these three, humility, faith, and persistence, are the three things that probably we can bring with us today to meditate upon. How are we when we, deal, we are dealing with the Lord? How are we in our encounter with the Lord? Are we humble enough? Do we have faith? Only in faith, Jesus could make a miracle. God bless us. Because of her humility and love for her daughter, Jesus answered the petition of a pagan woman, Let us pray that our love may be encompassing, not exclusive or selective. Let our response be, Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. May the church make herself a servant of Jesus' love and mercy, and transmit mercy to all people, 
irrespective of race, religion, and cultural beliefs. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our prayer. May government leaders and agencies attend to people in time of need, respective of their political affiliation. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we have recourse to God with humility and trust, knowing that all that we have and all that we are come from Him. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May we not boast of our accomplishments, but say rather, we are useless servants. We have done nothing more than our duty. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. May mothers who grieve because of their children who are ill or who have gone astray experience the same help that Jesus bestowed upon the Syrophoenician woman. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. We pray for your grace for the people tasked with studying the nature and cause of COVID-19 and abstaining the tide of its transmission. Guide the hands and minds of medical experts that they minister to the sick with competence and compassion, and of those governments and private agencies that must find cure and solution to this pandemic. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health soon. We pray. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. Send us a good, holy, learned, and wise man to become our next Archbishop. Inspire us, the clergy, religious and laity, to work generously with him so that we may grow together in your love and continue the good work you have begun in us for the sake of all people. We pray, Lord, Lord hear our prayer. We pray for the urgent concerns of our concerns of our community and our personal intentions. We pray, Lord, Lord hear, hear our, our prayer. prayer. All this we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, fruit of the earth, in work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. To your goodness we have this wine to offer. Fruit of divine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord God, we ask you to receive us and be pleased with the sacrifice we offer you with humble and contrite heart. Lord, wash away many good deeds. Pray, my brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice in yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we ask, the prayers of your people with the sacrificial offerings that through the intercession of Blessed Mary, the mother of your Son, no petition may go unanswered, no request be made in vain, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, and to praise, bless, and glorify your name for the memorial of the Blessed Virgin Mary of Lords. For by the overshadowing of the Holy Spirit, 
She conceived your only begotten Son, and without losing the glory of virginity, brought forth into the world the eternal light, Jesus Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, 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 holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice in once more, giving thanks. He gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith when we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have healed us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with Francis, our Pope, Brother Rick, our Bishop Administrator, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray. May the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Our Lady of Lourdes, Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta, we bless Joseph, her spouse, patron and protector of the Universal Church, with Peter, Paul, James, John, and the Blessed Apostles, with Lorenzo Ruiz, Pedro Calungsud, Blessed James Alberione, Blessed Timothy Giacardo, Blessed Elena Guerra, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life. May praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray with confidence to the Father in the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, our Father who, who art in, in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Peace you also. And with your spirit, let us offer one another the peace of Christ. Peace be with you. Peace be with you. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are they who are invited to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not worthy that you should, that you should enter, enter under, under my, my roof, roof but all say, say the word, the word and, and my soul, soul shall, shall be healed. healed. The body of Christ. Amen. Communion Antiphone Blessed are those who mourn, for they shall be consoled. Blessed are those who hunger and thirst for righteousness, for they shall have their fill. Prayer for Spiritual Communion My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Let us pray. As we receive this heavenly sacrament, we beseech, O Lord, your mercy, that we who rejoice in commemorating the Blessed Virgin Mary may, by imitating her, serve worthily the mystery of our redemption. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Please be seated. Please be seated for some announcements. 
Para po sa 80th anniversary ng Our Lady of Sorrows, aayusin po natin ang simbahan upang maging shrine and studio ng Mater de la Rosa de la Pieta. Ano mang contribution po ninyo ay welcome. Pakideposit sa Metro Bank account ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish. Ang numero ay naka-flash sa screen. Isend ang screenshot ng deposit slip sa messenger account ng parokya para sa maayos na accounting. Pwede rin pong magdeposito sa BPI account at GCash ng parokya. Paki-indicate sa screenshot ng deposit slip na ito ay para sa church renovation. Pwede rin pong ibigay ang mga offerings sa parish office, humingi ng resibo at sabihin ito ay para sa church renovation. Suportahan po natin ang lahat ng gawain ng parokya. Ipadala po ninyo ang inyong offertory gifts, love offerings at donations sa Metro Bank Current Account, BPI Current Account, GCash Account. Kuni ng mga numbers na naka-flash sa screen o sa tarpaulin sa harap ng simbahan. Mga religious items na available sa ating OLSP Parish Office, OLSP Face Mask, 50 pesos, 365 Days Bible Diary, 200 per copy, Martes Dolores, ang Perpetual Novena ng Mater de la Rosa de la Pieta, 25 pesos, 2021 World Calendar ng Mata de la Rosa de la Pieta, 40 pesos. Sabat 2021 or Scripture Meditations for Every Day for 300 pesos. Puntahan sa parish office o mag-message sa FB Messenger account ng parish. Available po ang SSP Love Offering Envelopes para sa lahat ng gustong mag-alay. Ang mga envelopes ng mga alay ay pwedeng ilagay sa ating collection boxes sa harap ng altar. Ang SSP Love Offering Envelopes ay para sa inyong mga alay sa S. Shrine and Sanctuary Construction S. Studio or Livestream Apostolate and P. Pasasalamat and Prayer Request Lastly, February 17, Ash Wednesday Schedules of Mass, 6 a.m., 12 noon, 5.30 p.m. Rosary and Mass, and last, 7.30 p.m. Please all rise for the final blessing. Today is the World Day Prayer for the Sick. So before we give you the blessing, let us pray for the sick. Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially our relatives and all our countrymen who are suffering from COVID infections. And let us also remember all our friends who are sick. Grant that they who are weighed down with pain in other afflictions of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. All priests will give the blessing. May Almighty God bless you all, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Let us go in the peace of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Mula sa parokya ng Our Lady of Sorrows, F.B. Harrison, Pasay City, mula sa mga pari ng Society of St. Paul na naka-assign sa parokya, mula sa Sambuhay TV Unit ng Our Lady of Sorrows Parish, salamat po. God bless you. Mater Dolorosa de la Pieta cares for you.